Today I'm going to be talking about Predator, the 19... Let's see, hold on. Let me see exactly when it came out. And... Oh yeah, 1987. For the other sequels, I don't think I'm going to mention them. Because they're not as good. I might uh, talk about Alien vs. Predator because that was surprisingly early well-made movie. Now, I liked how they like create the origin story of like the aliens. Anyways, this movie is basically about, if you haven't seen it, a bunch of army dudes who are sent into the jungle to rescue CIA operatives from the, like, this group of rebels in that country. Basically, at the beginning, this spacecraft flies to Earth and releases, like, this, I guess, pod or something that the alien's in. So, basically, there's that. Like, just, why stay skinned alive? Like, not just, I mean, their whole body is skinned alive. Like, their flesh, and you just basically see their muscles, and they're just dangling from the tree. It has superb camouflage capabilities, and especially his his whole body armor suit, whatever you call it, like the Predator's thing. I mean, it's very effective, and he, especially, like, his color, like, the color of his skin, like, even blends into the foliage and everything. And just the way he hunts is just, he's just a superb hunter. Compared to the other counterpart, you know, like the aliens that just lay eggs inside people, they're effective hunters too, but this one's more cunning, more smart. Definitely, uh, he may be, like, just slightly bigger than, like, an average human compared to the aliens in the alien movie, which were fucking huge. Huge. Sorry, I just had to do that. Okay, and uh, they were like, oh shit, what caused this? I mean, they probably fought as insurgents or some other group who gets kicks off of skinning people alive. They don't, they don't know. I mean, that's the terrifying part. You're just right along with them. You're like, shit, who could have done this and like got some mad disturbing skills? I mean, damn. Doing Buffalo Bill run for his money. So basically, yeah, they find them. Best blood flying everywhere. Machine guns, just just rapidly spraying people. It just it's just a gore fest. And if you don't like horror movies of gore, then you shouldn't see it because oh boy, it has a lot of blood, and I love it. <laughs> basically, wrong information and deceived into like doing something awful. When it turns out, it wasn't the mission at all. It was just a cover-up for something bigger. You know, the conspiracy shit. It's basically that. Like, oh, whoops. I forgot to tell you. This is not really your mission. This, yeah. Gorilla fighters. Well, they go to the point where the cal- helicopter or something like that is going to pick them up. And one by one, they're picked off by the Predator. And Anna is, you know, just blabbing about how it's like a demon of the forest. I can't remember, I mean, jungle. I can't remember a full thing, but she thinks it's something like that. Which, I mean, I guess she's kind of close to uh, classifying the thing. I mean, it's not like a demon, but hey, they know it's an alien. Great technology to fucking kill as much people. And it's... I think he keeps heads as trophies or something like that. And um, since he's a hunter, kind of, I'm guessing he kind of wants to go after like adversaries that can pose a challenge, like with weapons and stuff. I mean, if she was probably only gun, like trying to shut him, he'd probably kill her. But I mean, the predator's smart; he doesn't just indiscriminately kill supposedly innocent people. I mean, he doesn't. I mean, it's, like I said, it's very intelligent, so I believe it knows when there's a time and a place and a person that's going to kill. I mean, unlike, like I said, like the counterpart, this thing is really 
highly intelligent, very trained in this. Basically, Predator goes off into hiding and just cleans it up with his mad, his mad alien skills or something, I don't know. And then, super fucking intelligent. So very clever. When traps don't work, the Predator basically travels through the trees. And that's obviously pretty effective because he's above his prey. He sometimes is on the ground, but he has a better advantage where they're kind of blind. They can't really see him since he has camouflage and he's blending in to the territory. Like, he's obviously an adversary that they've never faced before. Of course, I mean, the spare details, they get picked off one by one. Eventually, Arnold Schwarzenegger... Well, he doesn't kill a thing. I mean, I'm not going to give him that much credit. The thing kind of just self-destructs. He has, like, this chuckle. And also, the Snigger's like, oh, shit. And he just, like, runs away from, like, the ticking time bomb that is the Predator. And just fucking explodes everywhere. And my favorite saying from that, that Arnold Schwarzenegger said... And I'm not going to lie, I had the hots for him back then. Yeah, it's a old-fashioned thing for me to say as a 20-year-old, but yeah, I had a, I had a crush on him. I was like, damn. <laughs> hey, I'm not ashamed. He, he's a, he was a good-looking man. He still is kind of good-looking. Okay, I'm going to get not talking more about that crush. But I remember whenever thing takes off its mask and shows... Like, the face from behind it, he's like, you are one ugly motherfucker. I think he says something like that. And yeah, I'm going to end it. And this with, I guess not with, but okay, I'm going to end this right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And sorry for spoilers, but if you still want to watch it, I mean, of course, I'm going to put spoiler claims. So if you want to like or dislike this, movie. I mean, not this movie. This video, I know it's kind of an orthodox to say, yeah, go ahead and dislike this video. I mean, I don't give a shit. I'm still getting, I'm still getting views, man. I'm still getting attention. All right. And just give me feedback and tell me what you thought this review. And also, if you've seen this movie and what you like, disliked about it, think that Arlo Schwarzenegger should make another one. Well, not making their one, but star in another one. Maybe. I mean, yeah. All right. I'm going to see you guys on Friday. Goodbye.